Hey everybody, I'm Katie. And I'm Jonathan. Welcome to the House of Faith. Let's go ahead and pray as we get started. Lord, thank you so much for your faithfulness. Thank yes. you for your love, for your grace, for your mercy. Yes. Lord, thank you so much for giving us wisdom, for giving us clarity, direction. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for opening the eyes of our heart to understand, to hear your voice, Lord, to be led by the Spirit. Lord, thank you so much for giving us the words to say. Thank you, Lord, for ministering to each and every single person watching this broadcast. Yes. Thank you, Lord, thank you. for shining your light into their hearts, Lord. Thank you for helping them comprehend and understand the love thank of you, God. Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for helping them cast their care onto yes. you because you care for them. There's yes. not one thing that's going on in their life, no matter how small it seems, that you don't care about. That's right. Lord, thank you thank for you. being here with us. Thank you for flooding wherever they are right now in the car, at their job, um, whether they're at home, Lord, thank you for encouraging them, yes. for helping them see and hear your word clearly. Thank you, Jesus, for your love and for um, for ministering to each and every one of us through this broadcast. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, man, I'm excited about this week's yes. broadcast. We're, con we're kind of continuing the um, our subject of casting your cares. Yeah. And um, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to read Psalm 118. We're going to start in verse 5, and it says, Out of my distress, I called on the Lord. Mm. The Lord answered me and set me free. The Lord is on my side. Yes. I will not fear. Yes. What can man do to me? And this is kind of going to be um, like the, the main scripture that we're kind of going with today, and especially the part about I will not fear. Yeah. So we have the option to not fear. Yeah. And we can make that decision before the opportunity to worry and fear even presents itself to us. Yeah. We go ahead and say, I will not fear. I'm making that choice now up front that I'm not going to fear. Yeah. So when the opportunity comes, I've already made my decision that I'm, it's not even an option for me to fear. Yeah. And so it just makes it easier whenever those, those uh, you know, circumstances come in for us to just say, okay, well, I've already made my decision. That's not even an option here. Yeah. And the Lord's going to help you. And we we don't fear when we remember his faithfulness, when we're that's thanking right. him. That's kind of what we ended the last broadcast with is thanksgiving and remembering his faithfulness, remembering those things that he's already brought us through. And there's no limit to what you can believe God for that's in right. the future. That's right. And in verse number five, it says, I called on the Lord in my distress. Mm -hmm. <sighs> If you'll just get into the practice of doing that mm -hmm. when you're distressed, yeah. when there's things going on, when there's when there's an opportunity to give in to worry. Right. Instead of just, you know, thinking about it, dwelling on it, mm -hmm. call on the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> In your distress, when you're going through something, when there's things that are attacking you, when there's something, an obstacle or a challenge mm -hmm. that's presented to you, yeah. call on the Lord. Yes. <laughs> Give yes. him a call. <laughs> yeah, and he hears you. That's right. He he not only will hear you, but he will answer you. Yes. And that's so good. And the um, New King James Version of this verse actually says that he sets us in a broad place. Yes. He takes us out of the pressure. He lifts us above the pressure, above the circumstance, above the challenge, whatever whatever fear and worry is trying to, to grip you. He brings us out of that. Yes. And he sets us in a broad place. That's right. With his loving sweetness, his grace and his mercy, yes. he is there to answer your prayers. Yes. He doesn't, they don't go unheard. They don't go unnoticed. When you ask him something in faith, that's right. he is right that's there. Yeah. That, that's exactly right. When you ask him, you pray in faith, yeah. he hears you. That's right. Immediately hears you. And he's right there, that's willing right. and ready and able to pick you up out of that place and to put you in a soft, broad place where you're not con confined and constrained by worry and fear because that's yeah, what it does. It does. Backs you up against a corner. I mean, we've yeah. all, you know, had those opportunities where we feel like we are shut in on every side. Yeah. We are pressured on every side. You know, it seems like there's no way out. Yeah. But God though. Yeah. But God, there's always a way out. He will always provide a way of escape. He is the way of escape. That's right. And I, I love that. I love that translation in the New King James that he just sets us in a broad place. Yeah. It's a place of freedom. Yeah. Instead of being, you know, restrained, like what right. Katie was saying, and confined, because mm -hmm. worry does confine yeah. and constrict. But then there's there's that freedom where you mm -hmm. can breathe you can again. Breathe. Yeah. <laughs> you know, where you can just breathe. 
And that's what God wants to do. God wants to take you and set you in a broad place. Yeah. The things that have been binding you, mm. the things that have been constraining you, yeah. God wants to liberate you. Yeah. There is freedom in Christ Thank Jesus. You, Jesus. Thank and you, God Lord. will put, pick you up and put you in a broad place. But you've got to make the decision now, mm. right now, mm. that I will fight yep. against Fear. That's right. That fear is not okay. You need to make that decision no. for you and your household. Yes. Fear is not okay Mm-mm. for us. Nope. And uh, 2 Timothy, uh, and this is a familiar verse of scripture. 2 Timothy chapter 1, and verse number 7, it says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Yeah. So everything that fear comes to attack, mm-hmm. God gives you the opposite. Mm. Fear makes you feel powerless, mm-hmm. but God gives you a spirit of power. Mm. Fear Come makes on. you feel like you're alone and nobody cares about yep. you, but God gives you that spirit of love. Yep, he does. Fear comes in to torment. The Bible yep. calls fear torment, torment. and torture right. of the mind. It, it is. Does. That's exactly what it is. But God's peace and God comes mm. in to give you that sound mind mm-hmm. to quiet. Yeah. To, to be still. Mm. But you got to fight against fear. You have to make the decision, like what Katie was saying, before that opportunity ever arises to give in and yield to fear, I'm not going to do it. I'm That's going right. to yield only to the Spirit of God on the inside mm-hmm. of me. That's exactly right. Fear is not to be coped. Mm-mm. Fear is not to be managed. Nope. And fear is not to be tolerated. Nope. Well, Jonathan, that just seems a little strong. Yes. It is. It is strong. Yeah. But it's not it's not just coming from me, right? This is scripture. 365 times in the scriptures. Yeah. God says to his people, don't be afraid. Mm-hmm. Do not fear. Yeah. That's not a suggestion. It's a he command. Do, he doesn't come and say, hey guys, you know, uh, we were just kind of talking in heaven <laughs> the other day. We kind of had a, a, a good little conference meeting. And we just had a really cool idea that we thought would be good for you too. You know, maybe we just, maybe don't fear. You know, I know sometimes that's that's too much to ask. Yeah. That's not what happened. <laughs> he said, do not fear. And how many times did he say, do not fear for I am with you. Yes. yes. I'm with you. That's right. I can be fearless. Mm-hmm. Fearless. Yeah. Free from fear yep. because I know who's with me. That's right. Who's with me? Who's on my Man. side? Exactly. That's Romans 8, 31. Mm-hmm. It says, what shall we say to these things? If God God's is for, for me, me, who, who can, can be, be against, against me? me? Yep. You know, if God's for me, it doesn't really matter who's against me. <laughs> no, nope. it's like the end. It's like, you know, verse six in Psalm 118, where it says, what can man do to me? That's right. I don't have to be afraid of anybody, yeah. anything that's coming against me because yep. of who's with me. Yep. The whole army of heaven is backing me. That's God right. himself dwells on the inside of me. Yes. I don't have to be worried. I don't have to be a victim to fear. I don't That's have to right. yield to that. I don't have to yield to that. And the more you do it, y'all, the easier it gets. That's the right. more you resist fear because it is to be actively resisted. That's right. Every time it comes, you have to, you can't be passive about this stuff. Oh, that's right. We cannot sit here and be passive when fear comes knocking at our door. That's you can't exactly open right. the door and say, come on in fear. There's plenty yeah. for you to rob. I got let so much. Let me just make room yeah, for let you. Let me just make room. Let's put you a nice little pillow down here on the couch. No, you actively resist it and it will flee from you. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. And I just think that's so important to remember is we can't be passive. We've got to be active, actively resist the devil, active, actively resist that, that fear. That's exactly right. And the Lord just gave me a, a scripture here in Joshua chapter one, uh, starting in verse number seven, it says, only be strong. Mm. Well, even back in verse number six, yeah, actually verse number five, we'll just start <laughs> reading from verse number one. I'm just yep. kidding. But in verse number five, it says, no man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. Oh, That was God talking to Joshua, mm-hmm. but God's saying that to you, saying that, to that us. there's no right. man, there's no devil, there's mm-hmm. no demon. There's nothing that's going to be able to stand in your way that's right. all the days of your life. And then he says, as I was with Moses, so, so I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Mm. Verse six, 
Be strong yeah. and of good courage. This is not a suggestion. Nope. Nope. This is a command. Yeah. This is also a command for you. That's right. But with this, it's not just an empty command saying mm -hmm. you better do this. And if you right. don't, you, man, you, you better right. do this. Right. But he's saying, listen, do this. I'm giving you in, in the very word, in the very yes. command that God gave. There's he enables power. you to do There's it. an empowerment mm -hmm. for you to live this yeah, way. That's exactly But right. the problem is we, we've become too soft and too... Mm -hmm accepting yeah, of fear, even right. in the church. Oh, so true. But uh, I think it was, was it C.S. Lewis who said this? Somebody said this. I, I forget <laughs> who said it. Maybe it was C.S. Lewis who said that in such a fearful world, mm -hmm. we need a fearless church. Oh, that's but, good. But it's it, in verse number six, be strong and of good courage. For to this people you shall divide as an inheritance the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Verse seven, only be strong and very courageous. The Lord is really trying to get a point across mm -hmm. to Joshua, mm -hmm. but he's also trying to get a point across to you and I. Yeah, that's right. I love this only be strong. Yeah. Which means no weakness. No. Nope. And, you know, that's our word for the year. It's yeah, strength. strength. Mm -hmm. And that's what God spoke to us, that he wants us to be strong. Yeah. He wants us to be strong in every area. That doesn't mean that we don't have moments where, man, I just... Uh, you know, I just feel like I got nothing left. Yeah. But thank God you've got a source of strength yes. in God yes. that'll come in yeah. and infuse his strength into you. Yeah. Well, his word says to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. That's right. So we can know that, okay, in ourselves, in our flesh, in our yeah. physical, you know, us by ourselves, there's no power there. Yeah. We're not capable. That's where worry comes from. Yeah. You know, is, well, I'm comparing myself to the mountain. I'm comparing myself to, yep. to this need that I have and it's not measuring up. It's right. not measuring up. But when you know who's on the inside of you, that power is released. He enables us to have no fear. That's he right. enables us, us to have power. And we, we're supposed to be, um, we're supposed to put aside our flesh and to yield to the spirit. Yeah. So our spirit, when we're unified with, with Christ and we have that relationship developed on the inside of us, we're strong in the Lord That's right. and in the power of his might. So we could always fall back on that. That's right. And when God's saying this, only be strong and be very courageous. Is he, is he telling Joshua or is he telling you to do something that he knows you really can't do? Mm -mm. No, he would never. That'd God's be cruel. not doing that. God, no. God knows that this is possible, mm -hmm. right? That's right. So, but He's giving you a command: mm -hmm. only yield to strength. Yeah. Only yield to courage. Right. We've got too many cowardice Christians. Yeah. Who are full of the power of God? Yeah. You know, it's you've got there. the same life yep. and power that raised Jesus up from the dead mm -hmm. that's living inside of you. Yeah. But we, we are so forgetful of that. Are we living? You know, Easter's coming up, uh, Resurrection Day. It's, what, next week? Mm -hmm. And we're, are we living as though the resurrection happened? Right. Are we, are we living yeah. our life as though the resurrection actually took place? Mm -hmm. But when God's giving you a command like this, and then he said uh, in verse number eight, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night mm -hmm. that you may observe to do mm. According yep. that whatever, whatever God's word says, you can do it. Yep. There's power you can to do, do it. it. Yeah. You may observe to do all according to all that is written in it for then you'll make your way prosperous and then you'll have good success. And then in verse number nine, this God still, he's really trying to get this point across to Joshua and to us still. Have I not commanded you mm -hmm. be strong oh. and of good courage? Yeah. This is a command. But listen, you can do this. That's right. You can live a courageous life. Mm -hmm. You can live a strong life. Yeah. One of the things that I think we've become too okay with is the fact that we can just say, well, I, you know, whatever happens is going to happen. Whatever's going to be is going to be. And that's just not true. Because we can go according to the word of God. Yep. What did he say? Because mm -hmm. whatever he said, I can do it. Yeah. And he's saying, have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, yep. nor be dismayed. Mm. Why? Why? For the Lord your God is with, with you, you wherever you go. you go. Yes. Man, that's powerful. So good. He's commanded you to be strong. Man. But he's commanded you to be strong because he's asking you to remember 
who's with you. Mm -hmm. He's asking you, he's uh, you, me, he's asking us, don't be afraid, don't be dismayed because I'm with you. You need yeah. to remember that. That's all right. So when you're facing a challenge, when you're facing an obstacle, when there's an opportunity to fear, mm -hmm. we remember, now wait, God's with me. Yeah. Why would I be afraid of this? Yeah. You remember your covenant mm -hmm. with the Lord your God and you don't get swayed by these things. Mm -mm. But instead, you say, no, I'm going to be strong. But again, I think, and this is the point that I was going to make just a moment ago. I think we've become too okay with willful weakness. Mm, that's it. That uh, You think about it when, when God's saying, you be strong, right? Be courageous. For me to be weak is my choice. Yeah. I've chosen this. Yeah. And, and, and that seems a little, <laughs> no pun intended, it seems a little strong to say that, but I didn't say it. <laughs> right. This is not yeah. me asking something of you and as some wild-eyed preacher mm -hmm. who's asking you to do something that's impossible mm -hmm. or something. Now, 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 see, now you're just, you don't care about my feelings. It's not that I don't care about your mm -hmm. feelings, but I'd rather you obey the word of the Lord. <laughs> Over just giving into your feelings. Yeah, and your feelings will come into alignment with the Word of God when you act on your faith, which is That's what right. we were talking about earlier. That's exactly right. So have I not commanded you to be strong, be of good courage? Mm -hmm. And this was, you know, right after Moses had, had passed on. And now Joshua is leading the Israelites. Mm -hmm. And there's land to possess. And there's land to possess for you yep. and your life. That's right. Whatever God's called you to, whatever arena, whatever area God's called mm -hmm. you to, there is land for you yes. to possess. Yes. But the number one reason I believe people aren't, they won't fight, mm -hmm. right? It's unbelief. Mm -hmm. But they're too accustomed. Right. They're too well-trained and well-versed into just giving into fear. Yeah. And listen, that's been a big correction for me mm -hmm. recently. For both of <laughs> there's, us. There's there's been some things that the Lord has put on our hearts for this year in 2024 that there was some major opportunities to say, you know, no. <laughs> that's that's too much. Yeah. There's so much fear and it was it was difficult. Now we need to be honest with ourselves. Absolutely. And don't just say, well, I never have to deal with fear. No. Everybody deals Everyone with that opportunity. Does. Exactly. But the point is, it's a choice. It is. Whether I give into it or whether I yield to the spirit, right. yield to faith right. instead of mm -hmm. the fear. Yeah. And that's what, you know, in Mark chapter five, what Jesus did with Jairus. Mm -hmm. When Jairus received word after Jesus healed the woman with the issue of blood, when he Jairus received word from someone in his house that his daughter passed away. And they said, mm. why trouble the teacher yeah. any further? Mm. Why trouble him any further? It's they over. They didn't see him as a Lord. They didn't see him as, right. as the healer. Yeah. They were like, oh, he's just teacher. He's just just don't teacher. bother him. Yeah. And it was over yep. to them. This yep. was over. There There's was, there, no hope. Yep. We're, we're, this is done. Mm -mm. You know, our worst fears have, have come to pass. Yeah. This is it. Yeah. So let's just come on home and let's just accept defeat. Yep. Fear always pushes you to accept defeat. Yep. Always. That's right. It does. But faith is the victory mm -hmm. that overcomes the world. That's right. Faith is the victory. It's mm -hmm. not even that it's going to produce the victory. It is your victory. Yeah. Faith is the victory mm -hmm. that overcomes the world. That's but right. when Jesus heard those that news that was given to Jairus, and these are the first recorded words we have Jesus speaking to Jairus. You know, earlier Jairus spoke to him, spoke to Jesus and said, my daughter lies at the point of death, come and heal her. Mm -hmm. And it just says Jesus went with him. Mm -hmm. There was no conversation, nothing. Mm -hmm. But the first recorded words we have from Jesus to Jairus is do not fear. Yep. Only, Only believe. believe. Yep. Only believe. And this is kind of what, you know, God was telling Joshua, Joshua, yeah. The, do not fear. Mm -hmm. Do not be dismayed. You only be strong. Yeah. You only be very courageous. Right. And you hear that same command for you today, and you just make that decision in your family, mm -hmm. in your family, in your business, at your job, uh, at school. Listen, I know there's there's so many opportunities nowadays to give in to fear. Mm -hmm. that, you know, and, and I hear it said so often, even from people in the church, well, the world's just so crazy. You never know what people are going to do. And that's true, mm -hmm. but I do know what God's going to do. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> that even right. Even if I face and I come against a challenge, an obstacle, or an enemy, mm -hmm. or even the devil himself, yeah. 
I'm not going to give in to fear. No. I'm going to be strong. Well, and you think about too with Joshua and with um, uh, J. Iris, they both had the opportunity to choose fear. Yep. And if they had, what would they have missed out on? Yeah. And what kind of testimony mm. would have been, would have not, if they had not had that testimony, other people wouldn't have, maybe wouldn't have come to know Jesus either. Yeah. You know, like think about how much that ministered to other people, but also how much ground that they gained. Yeah. I mean, and the same thing for you too. What is fear holding you back from? Yeah. That's what is word. it that God wants you to conquer, wants you to possess in this life? What is the plan that he has for you that fear is keeping you out of? That's because right. that's what that's exactly why the children of Israel didn't enter their promised land because of their doubt and unbelief. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, they were afraid of the giants. They were like, the giants are going to overtake us. They're way bigger than we are. But Joshua and Caleb had a different spirit about them. That's they right. had a spirit of faith. And they were like, yes. no, let's go up at yeah. once yeah. and conquer this. That's let's right. go ahead and do this. If God said it, then it's already done. That's right. And they were all, the giants were already waiting for them this whole time. All the 40 years, they were like, we were wondering where you guys were at. Yep. It's the same thing in your life. Yep. Don't let fear hold you back. Don't let the devil get in and tell you that there's nothing for you to conquer, that That's you right. need to quit being, you need to quit um, being greedy. You need to quit wanting more. You need to quit pursuing excellence, pursuing the plan of God for your life because it's just too much. That's too much. How dare you think that you deserve that? We don't deserve it, but God gave it to us as a free gift. Yeah. And it's time for us to possess That's what right. God has provided for And us. whatever he's given to me by grace, you best believe I'm going to possess mm -hmm. it by faith. That's right. I'm going to. Yeah. And people say, well, just do it, you know, do it afraid if you have to. No, mm -hmm. I'm going to resist the fear. I'm going to Remove deal with the, the fear. fear. Yeah. It's a spirit. Fear mm -hmm. is not just an emotion. No. Fear is not just a feeling. That's right. Fear is a spirit. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to tolerate it. Yeah. It's from the devil, which means I want nothing to do with it. Mm -mm. And I'm not afraid of the devil. No. You shouldn't be afraid of him either. Mm -mm. I love that story. Uh, was it Smith Wigglesworth or Lester Summerall or somebody? One of those. I think it was Smith Wigglesworth where uh, he woke up in the middle yep. of the night and he looked over and he saw the devil in his room. He saw the devil himself sitting in his room and he said, oh, it's just you. And he rolled over and went back to sleep. You can be the same, that same kind of, yep. have that same kind of tenacity, mm -hmm. that same kind of fearlessness. Boldness, yeah. Even with the devil himself, he's not scary. Uh -huh. You don't have to be afraid of him. Mm -mm. Listen, he is afraid yep. of you. That's exactly When right. you come to know who you are and what you have in Christ Ooh, Jesus, that and that him. greater is he that's in me than he come that's on. in the world, mm -hmm. he is afraid of that. He's afraid of that revelation that's becoming right. real to you. Yeah. But the moment it does, something it ignites yes. in, inside of you. Exactly. And you become like Joshua and Caleb and say, let's go up right now. Yes. Let's not even at waste once. any time. Let's go up at once. Give me this mountain. I'm going to possess it. Mm -hmm. You say, fear, get out of here mm -hmm. in Jesus name. You're not welcome here. I'm not yielding mm -hmm. to you anymore. Yeah. Get out. Mm -hmm. And then you go and possess the land yes. that God has given to you by faith in Amen. Jesus name. Yes. Uh, we're out of time. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Don't go anywhere. Katie and I will be right back in just a minute. It's not God's will for you to go through this life feeling weighed down by the cares of this life. Fear is not a feeling. Fear is a spirit and it being tolerated is unacceptable in your house. Even if the earth itself is removed, he's my refuge, he's my strength, and he's my very present help in times of trouble. The excerpts you just heard are from Pastor Jonathan Cowan's message, The Untroubled Heart. For your gift of any amount this month at Cowan Ministries, we would like to offer you an MP3 download of this message. For a gift of $25 or more, you will also receive this Cast Your Cares t-shirt. This comfortable shirt is a great reminder to cast your cares on the Lord because He cares for you. To request this month's offer, visit us at cowanministries.org or call us at 706-363-0771. Welcome back, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us for our broadcast today. We are so glad that you're here. And I just wanted to remind you guys about our package for this month. It's called the Who Cares Package, <laughs> which is hilarious. But it includes the t-shirt that says, Cast Your Cares. It's super comfortable, really soft. It's a great reminder to cast your cares onto the Lord yeah. every single day. And it also includes Pastor Jonathan's teaching called The Untroubled Heart. It's, the, it's a great reminder to cast your cares. It's a great encouraging message. Um, if I do say so myself, I'm a little bit biased, but it's really, really good. Yeah. And I believe it'll encourage you and um, 
and help you build your faith. That's right. It'll be very encouraging. So make sure that you avail yourself to that this month. Mm -hmm. Also want to give you guys a quick update on our Going Strong project. We are rejoicing at everything Ooh. God is doing in, that, in this project. And not only just for us, but we believe that God is doing great yes. things in your in life. You. That's right. So thank you for those who have joined us and partnered with us in what we're doing here at Cal Ministries. Your partnership means so much to mm -hmm. us because... Yeah. It enables us to do these broadcasts. It mm -hmm. enables us to go and preach the gospel mm -hmm. uh, at different places. Uh, and, and it enables us to write our books and give books away. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it enables us to just get this message of faith yep. out there to people. Exactly. And so thank you guys for partnering with us. We are so appreciative. And we want to hear testimonies mm -hmm. of what God's doing in your life and through your life. So becoming a partner with us, man, share testimonies with us. We would yeah, love to read those. Hear that. And we would love to rejoice with you mm -hmm. with what God's doing. So visit us at calministries.org and you can share that testimony with us. Mm -hmm. Also, really, really exciting news. We will be ministering at Spirit Wind Conference with Elijah Merle. In Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yep. All my Tulsa peeps. I used to uh, live in Tulsa. That's where I went to school. Uh -huh. That's where I went to college at Rama Bible Training College. So listen, anybody who's in the area, I encourage you, please come out. Yeah. Come in here. It's going to be an you amazing time. It. There's so many wonderful people who will be speaking mm -hmm. at the conference. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be speaking there. Mm -hmm. Annette Caps will be speaking there. Elijah Merle. Uh, Rick Johnson, John, mm -hmm. John Smith. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, it's so going to be awesome. Go to MerleMinistries.com.org and uh, we just RSVP. Go ahead and register. Space is limited. It's going to be at Notion Espresso in downtown Tulsa. But it's going to be a really wonderful time together in the presence of God. Let me pray for you and send you guys out. Father, thank you so much for your goodness. Thank for you. your faithfulness. And God, I pray a blessing thank you, Lord. over every single person yes. that's listening. Thank Jesus. you, Lord, that everything Thank that they you, put their hand to do is blessed, prosperous, Thank and succeeding. Jesus. That they're the head and not the tail. Yes. They're above and not beneath. Thank you, Lord. They're blessed coming in, blessed Thank going God. out, blessed yes. in the field, blessed in the city. And Father, I thank, thank you, you for protecting them, you, causing Jesus. them to shine, yes. causing them to overcome in every Amen. area of life. Thank, thank you, Lord Jesus, for the gift that they are to us and the gift they are to the body of Christ. In Jesus. Jesus' mighty name. Thank you guys for being a part of our family of faith. We'll see you next time here on The House of Faith. This program was made possible by the generous support of the partners of Cowan Ministries. If you'd like to partner with us or explore additional resources and teachings, please visit us at cowanministries.org. This ministry is a 501c3 nonprofit organization, and your gift of any amount is tax deductible. Thank you for supporting Cowan Ministries as we pursue our mission of teaching every generation the revelation of faith.